Fairfield Reform Penn State, I know there's a lot of hype around Penn State. You probably heard a ton about us and stuff. Did we live up to your expectations? <laughs> yep. Even from just hearing it in Biggie's raps, there's always That's anticipation. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For Penn State. Uh, I performed at UPenn before. And I was like, man, I wonder if Penn State's like this. And it's completely different. Completely you know different saying? than you've been. But, They're also Ivy, but. Yeah, man. Not a great time. One of the livest shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys, the energy is great. I guess the people are great. You guys got pretty girls everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> that's always good. Real players around. You can't be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Um, I, I can only ask you a few questions, but. um. Uh, I guess you've done so many big collaborations and like good music too, especially one of your biggest ones you've done yet. Mm -hmm. You've been on the forefront of a lot of music. How does it feel to be where you are right now and see all the people that you've collaborated with go so far and succeed so much? It's crazy. You know, it's kind of surreal. We just sit back and, you know, remember how, like, it was, a, it was a transition, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't overnight and it wasn't, it clearly wasn't like, uh, you, you're here one day and you're here the next day. Like, we worked so hard. And it was like, it's all well deserved, but it's just all surreal. You know what I'm saying? My whole life is like surreal to so real. Like, I've, I remember meeting Kanye before I knew him or Jay Z. The radio show, right? You know what I'm saying? Just like all these guys at the beat. For them to be my hom my homies now and just like even Lil Wayne and all them fools. That's just what I was gonna say. It's kind of ironic the how you started out with Kanye and then him being such a big part of your career now. It's it's crazy. And well, I guess what would your advice be to like young artists like Mike that are coming up and you know have to have I guess the balls to go up to someone you know spit, sit, spit your lines at them say you know hey listen to me I want to get noticed you know what would your advice be for artists like that? Um, like you when you were younger. <laughs> I don't know, man. I. I don't want to give people the wrong advice. My best advice is to like follow your heart. I don't want to tell somebody to do something and it'd be wrong. And not work <laughs> Never wrong. Like, it's okay. Oh, that's what we he won't, told we me. Won't but, quote you on it. But it, it's the right thing to always follow your heart and you believe in yourself. You know, it was real hard for me to believe in myself sometimes. When my mom was somebody who always like, who always believed in me more than I believed in myself and kept me going and it's still like this unbreakable faith. And. That's the reason that I was able to make it through some of them times, but it's not easy. It's as easy as you make it. Let me not say it's not easy. It's as easy as you make it. Life is what you make it. You create your own world. You know, if you believe that, then there's no question that you're gonna make it at whatever you wanna do. So you never expected it to be this big. You never, especially like Ass, I've heard you say that song, like you weren't even gonna put it on an album. You weren't yeah, even gonna release it. I wasn't even gonna put it on my album. For it to be this big for girls, you saw those girls out there freaking <laughs> out over that song. We played all the time on the radio. Like how, how does that feel? Like you said yourself, you said, you know, it's from surreal to so real. You never expected it to be this big? Yeah, I expected it to be this big. I just didn't know how, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know how it was gonna happen. I always saw it and always wanted it to happen, so. It's tight. Compared to like good music and being like on single collaborations and working by yourself, what do you prefer? And, like, I just prefer like good music, period, whatever. If it's a song by myself, if it's a collab, as long as it feels right, as long as it's true to me and it's what I want to do. And how do you like working with everyone on good music now? Like, it's cool, man. It's they, fun time. They're all fam, you know, from Two Chains to Pusher. Um, One more key question. Who else? Everybody, John, uh, Common, uh, Yay, of course. You know, it's it's Saha, it's all love, man. And those guys, we all got the same common goal, just wanting to help each other out and be successful. You know, yeah, I feel like the more you help some, the more you help other people out, to just further along you you come to. You know. Okay, so I guess I can only get one more question, mm -hmm. but I want. Can you give me a uh, one of your phrases? Answer, would, which one would be your favorite phrase? Like, you have so many that signature staples and phrases, whether I can't do it, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Uh, oh, God, or what's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Can you give it to us? <laughs> My favorite got to be... Um I don't know which one my favorite is. I like them all. I like Swerve. <laughs> That's my oh, favorite. God. Oh, God. I'll have you know, Mike, whenever that song plays, you know, Swerve is said, we swerve, swerve. in the car. It's swerve. Insane, Man, so. I do too. So. <laughs> it's not. Safe, not. I already know. Yo, you already know what it is, man. This is Big Sean. Oh, God. <laughs> and you listening to Off The Walls Radio, man. Act like you know something, boy.